So we're using our pocket hole drill jig. And that's what you get. You get little sloping pockets and then the screws will come out at the end. Gonna glue them anyway. Just gotta decide now on screw size. So the screws to get in the kit come with a square head uh, screwdriver that you can attach into your drill. See it comes through at an angle. There we go. So because we've got screws running across and through that one into here and they're glued, we can't trust getting that one the other way. it that way they should be able to miss the screws that are in there already
I'm just checking that uh, all the screws are recessed and that uh, there's nothing sticking out. So the piece of wood that we're going to put in on the front of the flywheel, I'm wanting to get that in that position so I've got that boomerang. And then when we finish this front off, it will fit there. And also on the side, what I'm trying to do is try to get it so that when it fits on the side, we've got that little step again. So I'm going to fasten the ply on the side there. It doesn't fall out this side. We're still going to box in the bottom there. There's going to be some stone there, but we're going to box in the bottom. I think that's the frame done for now. So we're wanting our worktop to actually fit this area of this obviously we want to overhang. We're going to bring it right up to the edge of this and we're also going to bring it back here but we've got to cut out for this section here. So we'll measure that up. What we'll probably do is make a template and if we <clears throat> draw around this area we can get a good idea from our template and then what we'll do is transfer the template onto our worktop and cut that out so that's the easiest i'm finding either do it in wood or a similar size wood to what you're using or do it in cardboard cardboard gives you an idea it's easy to cut but the wood gives you a more precise cut so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to cut around this area and make sure we've got the right cut for it So as you can see we've cut that out now, uh, what we ended up doing was putting some masking tape on the edge that holds the laminate together but also gives you something to mark on. And then now hopefully that gives us an outline on the door, gives us an overlap all the way around. So what we'll be able to do is we'll now be able to take the tape off. got the plastic cover on this you can probably just about see it there that stops it getting scratched or damaged and there we have it we've got this worked up cut to size now one thing we will be doing is because of the edges near the door at either end we're going to be rounding these off and that one well, like we did on this one, we're going to be rounding that corner off in there and we'll be able to insert the trim around the edge. So that's our next step. Next step is, obviously, you have to clad that wood with the edge boards. So we'll move on to that next. So at the moment, I'm trying to meet get this profile here to the profile of the carpet that one there and what it should do is it allows that to go further forward it allows that to go further forward so that when we're outside the van you're not going to see any joint in that area that's on as far as it can go We might have to put a bit of filler in, huh? you know, just like a bit of wood filler. We were just waiting for the sink to arrive.
Jackson, middle top. <laughs> Sounds like a game show, that bottle middle top. Mm. Cards. Is that what it was? Oh, yeah. it was it? Well, your cards right, wasn't it? <laughs> That's his back on. thing is if we need to take this off we can take it off to get to things and then if we need to once it's covered that's it isn't it I mean that's sturdy that's not going anywhere that <laughs> and at least you've got your vent at the bottom so you can you know you can move that around if it locks up that Unless they only open vents when there's air blowing. I don't know. It's just that there's a little bit of a spring on that vent. Yeah. And I'm not sure whether or not it's trying to return it to shut to close position or it, it's allowing it to, you know, do what it's yeah. supposed to do. I mean, you've, just, you've still got your plastic on top of this. So it's still in there. So do you want to take a little bit off this edge, or is that going to be enough? Do you think? You think it's going to be too much? I mean, it's not. It's not too bad, is it? No. No, I was just thinking about the table thing. You know, the pop-up thing you yeah. were talking about. Uh, well, it could be sit underneath anyway, couldn't it? Yeah, you could have it lower, lower down, so it yeah, would be underneath this. It yeah, doesn't yeah. have to be exactly the same. No, no, but I was thinking it, it would be if you, if you put your thing on here, this. Yeah, when it came up, it hit that. Up, it's going to be the same anyway. Yeah, it's going to. Or is it? So we just started <clears throat> by putting in the rails for the drawers that we're going to be putting into this area. We're going to have three drawers, a large one at the bottom and two upper ones. Uh, we've just got to lift off rails that seem to be the easiest option as we still want to be able to access down to our trauma if we get any problems. On this side we're going to put a shelf in about halfway. We're not sure about the, the depth of this shelf yet because once we've got our sink and our drain, we want to see where and how much room we've got left. But I think this one will be a, an opening door. So very similar to what we're going to have on this side. Right then guys, so that's about it for today. We've made quite a bit of progress over the last couple of days with this kitchen unit. The only thing that we're waiting for at the moment is like I said earlier, is we're waiting for the fittings for the sink and the taps that we're going to be fitting. Now bear in mind we're going to be fitting two different taps. One is going to be the hot and cold and the other is going to be the small fresh water one. But once they get here we'll be making a bit of progress into fitting those. So like always, if you like what you see, if you want to give us that thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to your channel it will help keep it going. But if not, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.